Um, I teach literature to 10th graders. I teach them Homer and Dante, among other things. Um, I try to convince them that there is a difference between good books and bad books. Mm. And one of, the, one of the ways I did that is I said, Dante is better than USA Today. It, we can all agree on this. But I got myself in trouble when I'd said that we can make the judgments in other areas as well. Mm. I told them that Bach was better than Lady Gaga, mm. objectively so. Um, I got in trouble there, where all of my students seemed to be already indoctrinated in this idea that to make judgments concerning beauty is a sign that one is a bigot. And I even had meetings with parents afterwards that were a lot of people very mm -hmm. upset about this. Yeah. Uh, how could I best go about persuading my audience that this is so? It's a very interesting question. Uh, and. Um, I think one has to start very tentatively when it comes to this music thing, um, uh, uh, trying to get your students to judge between uh, different works of different pop songs. You know, uh, tr get them to see that in uh, Poker Face, Lady Gaga is singing on one note only, and they will recognize, whoa, isn't something missing here? That thing called melody, you know? <laughs> uh, and, um, and then compare it with, say, Elvis's Heartbreak Hotel, where you've got a melody. And it will give them the sense, yes, there is a difference between these two things. And there might be a reason for pre pre preferring one to the other. And gradually work up to the point where they can accept judgment, at least about the world in which they are. Uh, and point out to them the connection between re repetitiveness and addiction. Uh, you know, that, that you're, you're becoming enslaved to this music because it's simply giving you those three wretched chords over this four and a four, four and a bar, you know, uh, and, um, and so that you can't emancipate yourself from that rhythm. And here is something, you know, try uh, Spiral Architects is a metal group which has pieces with 25 and a half beats in a bar or something like that. You know, this is at least is different. You're not going to get addicted to this. In fact, you want to turn it off, don't you? you know, um, and I think if you do that enough, uh, um, young people do recognize that judgment is actually part of what's already going on in them. It's just that they're killing it. Uh, by, by becoming addicted to certain easygoing ways of listening. It won't get them to Bach yet, yet, uh, just like that, because to get to Bach, you've got to go through that territory which really frightens them, which is silence. Uh, you know, that means turning that thing off for, for 12 hours and then listening 